I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a single crochet cross stitch. And that is the design that you can see in front of you here. It is a fun variation of a single crochet stitch. There's just one little thing that you're going to do differently with your hook to give you this cross stitch design. Now the other thing to note about this pattern is that it can only be worked in a round cross stitches have to be all on the same side. If I take a look at the inside of my work here, this is what you're going to get, which is also pretty too. So turning it back right side out, this is our cross stitch. Today for the tutorial, I'm going to be using the Karen times Pantone yarn by Yarn Inspirations, as well as a 5.5 millimeter cross um, crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you check out the description for this video you'll find the link to the free written instructions for this crochet stitch. So grab your hook and your yarn and let's learn how to crochet the single crochet cross stitch. For our stitch today we're going to start by making a slip knot. And as I mentioned in the intro, this stitch can only be worked in rounds. So you can work any multiple of stitches. Uh, however, you have just have to have enough to uh, put into the round um, itself. So I'm going to chain 20 stitches. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to join in my first stitch with a slip stitch to make my loop like so. I'm now going to begin working my cross stitches. I'm going to start by chaining one and to work the cross stitch, it's a single crochet stitch but with a slight variation. So just as you would with a single crochet, you're going to insert your hook into the stitch, into the first chain stitch. Then instead of yarning over, which you normally would do, you're going to yarn under. So yarn under, place your hook over top of your yarn and pull your yarn through. You're then going to complete your single crochet stitch by yarning over and pulling through the two loops. We're going to work that into the next stitch. So into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn under, draw up a loop, yarn over, and draw through two loops. Now it's hard in this first round to see that cross stitch coming through but uh, it is there. We're going to keep going. You're going to do that all the way along. So insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn under, draw your loop through, yarn over, and draw your loop through two loops. Repeat that in the next stitch. Insert your hook, yarn under, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through. So continue doing that all the way around your ring. When you come all the way around, I like to join in that first stitch with a slip stitch. We're now going to work another round of these single crochet cross stitches and this is where it's really going to come out. So again, you're going to chain one, do not turn your work. Insert your hook into that first stitch, the same stitch as joining, yarn under and draw through a loop. yarn over and draw through a loop. Into the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn under, 
draw through a loop, yarn over and draw through. So continue that all the way around. At first I found it a little bit awkward to be yarning under, but uh, once you do a few stitches uh, or a few rounds, you'll find it becomes much more easier and more natural. So if you take a look, now you can really see that cross stitch coming out. That's all there is to working the single crochet st cross stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. Have fun and happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.